Welcome to the Warframe Open Encyclopedia, where today we're checking out the HEMA. You can get the blueprint for the HEMA from the Infested or Biolab in your dojo. And to build it, you're gonna have to put in 30,000 credits, 5 mutagen mass, 50,000 salvage, 5,000 circuits, and a fully built forma. Not every clan might have the research finished though, because the HEMA research is notorious for how expensive it is to get done. But anyway, the HEMA is a Mastery Rank 7 primary burst rifle that does pure viral damage and it fires 3 rounds per burst, so the damage is actually three times of what you see on the stat screen if you manage to land all three shots. It has pretty low crit chance of only 11% with a standard 2 times crit multiplier and a fairly solid 25% status chance. It also comes with a 60 round magazine, a fire rate of 6 which is somewhat slow and a 2 second reload. That's not all though, because the HEMA also comes with sort of two unique mechanics. So firstly, as you can see, the HEMA has no ammo reserves, and this is because it uses your health as an ammo reserve instead. So if we fire out a few shots and we reload, you can see the weapon biting into my forearm to drain a little bit of my health to reload itself. This effectively gives the weapon infinite ammo as long as you can heal yourself back up. And secondly, the HEMA comes with a lifesteal effect on headshots, so whenever you headshot an enemy you will steal a little bit of their life, which of course works really well with the whole reloading thing. Now I've tried multiple different builds on the HEMA and this is the one that I like the most, where you run high voltage and malignant force for corrosive damage, thermite rounds and hellfire for heat damage and then you have viral damage coming from the weapon itself. On top of that we run vile acceleration for a ton of extra fire rate, otherwise the weapon feels pretty sluggish rifle aptitude for extra status and serration with split chamber for damage and multi shot. Now you can of course invest into the weapon a lot more, you can run galvanized chamber, galvanized aptitude, you can even run an arcane on it, but with this basic setup the weapon will feel absolutely fine up to sort of level 80. It will always take at least a couple of shots though, especially on the high level beefier enemies because you need to proc some status before your damage kicks in. But the damage is actually fairly solid after you land the initial corrosion or viral effect. Another thing that affects your DPS quite a bit with the HEMA is it does with all other burst rifles is the timing of your shots, because if you click at just the right time you can fire the weapon considerably faster than if you're just randomly spam clicking. This is something that you just have to play around with and gotta figure it out on your own if you want to get the maximum DPS out of this weapon. So all in all I would recommend you give the HEMA a shot, I wouldn't go as far as to say that it's a must have weapon but I would definitely recommend it. It showers the enemy in status effects, it does decent damage, it's pretty fun to use as well and it has infinite ammo. It's not the best weapon in the world but but I think it's definitely worth picking up. You do need to be a little bit careful with it though, because a full reload will drain 5% of your maximum health, so if you don't have any other ways of healing yourself, you get unlucky with healing orbs and you're just not good at headshotting things, this weapon might speed up your demise. It's usually not a big issue though, because normally it's very easy to make up any lost health from the reload by randomly getting a headshot here and there. And that's pretty much it, so I thank you very much for watching as always guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.